CBC News has learned Alberta is asking the federal government and the Canadian Red Cross for help. The province is dealing with a surge in COVID-19 cases, nearly 10,000 in the past week. Its hospitals are certainly feeling the strain. That's where the federal government comes in. The CBC's Aaron Collin joins us with more details on this. Now, hi, Aaron. Good to see you. What exactly is uh, Alberta, what is the province asking for? Well, they're asking for help, and you nailed it there. Uh, cases continue to surge here across the province. And from day to day, we can have the most new and or active number of, of COVID-19 cases in the entire country, despite a much smaller uh, population. So the situation's bad, and the province is reaching out to a couple people, a couple organizations, and asking for help, primarily the Canadian Red Cross and, and the federal government. And what they're looking for is help building field hospitals, which paints a pretty uh, bleak and dire picture. We're hearing four, two from the Canadian Red Cross and two from the federal government. That's not gonna involve staffing, but it is gonna involve building those field hospitals, likely outside existing medical facilities, to help deal with what's expected to be a growing surge in people that need to access those ICUs and, and beds inside the hospital. So some bad news, we don't have all the details. We do understand that, that uh, Alberta's health minister, Tyler Shandro, and the federal minister, Patty Heidi, will be meeting to sort of hammer out those details later today. Yeah, the, the big headline there certainly that jumps out to me is the idea of field hospitals and the necessity for them. We've heard stories, for example, of in the past few days, Dr. Hinshaw talking about uh, double bunking in, in ICUs and, and the possibility yeah. and the preparation for that. There's obviously been a huge political conversation in Alberta around, you know, whether there should be more restrictions or, or how the province or how the government is dealing with that. How does that factor in here? Yeah, there's been a divide, no question. And the Premier, uh, Premier Jason Kenney, has wanted to give, to rely on Albertans' personal responsibility, to give Albertans the opportunity to sort this out themselves. He's resisted, you know, a big lockdown that a lot of, uh, you know, doctors have been calling for. But, you know, the numbers... The numbers don't lie, Vashi. I mean, we've got over a thousand new cases a day in Alberta for coming on two weeks now. There doesn't seem to be any let up here. And as far as the, the numbers you mentioned for hospitals, we've got almost 500 people in hospitals. Of course, those numbers will tick up again uh, at the bottom of the clock when we hear from the chief medical officer and the premier. And we've got almost 100 folks uh, in ICU beds across the province, which Earlier on in this pandemic, we heard that our capacity was in the 70s. So already past that, of course, the province has the ability to open up new spaces. But we know that the serious consequences of new cases of COVID-19 lag a couple weeks. So this is looking into the future. And the, the province must be looking into the tea leaves of these numbers and going, this isn't good and it's not going to get better. And we got to get prepared for what's coming. And apparently what's coming might involve field hospitals, which is, you know, not the news that Albertans were, were hoping for, for sure. And certainly what doctors in this province were warning people about uh, in, in the weeks leading up to today. Okay, thanks, Aaron. Really appreciate the update. Uh, the CBC's Aaron Collins for us in Alberta. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.